Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio, so today I am here to tell you that Politoed is back. And it's not actually just Politoed, it's, it's the whole gang. It's Polyrath, Polywell, and we've even got a little bit of a Polywag coming in as well. And it's a new deck which is coming around in Space Juggler and Time Gazer. I say Space Juggler and Time Gazer, it's actually all in Time Gazer. They are all in S10D. Remember, we are talking a double set here, and with double sets, they are completely different set lists. And it would be weird to put half of an evolution line in one pack and half in another. That would just be strange. And this Polytoad actually has a chance to be a very good deck. It is reminiscent of something we've seen before, <coughs> Mammoth Swine, which didn't actually work. But this does look a little bit better. So what we've got here is 140 HP. Translations, of course, from the lovely Antoine Boulet. Who else? And what we've got here is, like I said, 140 HP, which is honestly low. There's no way around it. On a stage two, that's bad. Uh, retreat cost of two, weakness to lightning, nothing terribly exciting. But, and obviously water double colorless, 100 damage. No one's getting excited about that. Let's move on with our lives. But what we've got here for two colorless energy is an attack that does 10 damage base. But if you have a Poliwag in play, this does 60 more damage. If you have a Poliwhirl in play, this attack also does 90 more damage. If you have a Poliwrath in play, this attack also does 120 more damage. And yes, if you have all three of them in play, you are looking at 280 damage. 120 plus a 60 is 180. 90 plus a 10 base is 100. Put them together, 280. And that is actually a key number. Because VMAXs are very, very much being phased out. VMAXs are on the way out. And I know we keep getting kind of little stragglers and it's ruining my VMAXs are going away theory. But I'm sorry, VMAXs are going away. I, I stand by that theory. Which means we're left with V-Stars, and if we look at things like Dalga and Palkia, we see that we are looking at 280. 280 is pretty much as high as we get. So what we've got here is a single prize Pokemon for a single energy attachment that can hit 280, and that gets a one-hit KO on basically any V-Star. Now, the good news is, in terms of paying the attack cost, we can use Twin Energy, which will pay it nicely, but will also be rotating. So this is going to be an Astral Radiance. We now know the set and it's been officially revealed, etc. And yay. But that's coming out at the very tail end of May. And end of August, beginning of September, we are going to be rotating. And when we hit rotation, we're going to lose twin energy and that is going to suck. We will still have double turbo energy, and it's a bit weird, because on the one hand, that means you do 20 less damage, which will still get a lot of V-Stars in any Pokemon V, but it will miss out the real high-end Pokemon V-Star. But then again, you can just then add a Choice Belt, which will do an extra 30, and essentially what you're doing here is using Choice Belt to offset the less damage from double turbo energy, which is clearly not an ideal situation. We would clearly rather not be there, but um... It's really not the end of the world, ladies and gentlemen. It really is not the end of the world. So, yeah. Clearly the potential is here. Now, what is important to note, it is if you have a polywag, you do 60 more damage. It is not for every polywag you have in play, do an extra 60 damage. And that is really important. Because otherwise, you'd be able to just put four polywag down and hit 250 for a twin energy. That would be ridiculous ridiculous that's clearly not going to happen and that's a little bit sad and we have actually seen this or at least very similar to it on Mamoswine now this was the second Mamoswine we ever saw the one from back in Stormfront Parade did 60 damage base plus 10 more for each swine up 20 more for each pile of swine and 40 more for each Mamoswine on your bench but it was a stage two that attacked for a water fighting and two colorless energy it was never going to work. Plus, the damage did not build up fast enough. It was it was a really fun way to have a look at it, but it was never actually going to work. We did see a similar thing on the Reuniclus that came around in Fates Collide. 2 energy, 10 damage, 30 more if you've got Solosis on your bench, 60 more if you've got Duosion, 90 more if you've got Reuniclus, which did add up to 190, which at the time was kind of a, you know, a good number to hit. 
but you had a 90 damage stage 2 that didn't attack for a single energy, although there were ways around it. It, it was just a little bit weak and it didn't work. So look, Mammoth Swine was never going to work because that attack cost was frankly ridiculous. But Reuniclus was a little bit easier, but that was never going to work. That never ended up being any good. What makes me think this could be? And the answer essentially is because it's a single energy attachment and it one hit KOs basically anything in the format. You're taking two prizes for a single energy attachment on a single prize Pokemon. Is that going to be enough? Maybe not. But I think that it certainly is enough that we need to be having a look at it and be taking it a little bit seriously. I like this. I think this could be very, very cool. It's one that I want to have a play around with. Yes, it's a stage two, and yes, that's awkward. And yes, in order to make the most of it, you need to have a basic and a stage one and a stage two on your bench. And this is all adding up to a whole big heap of awkwardness. But it's a single prize Pokemon that for one energy attachment can get a one hit KO on anything. I think we might have gotten to the point where we look at it and go, okay. This is worth the awkwardness at this stage. And, you know, let's not forget, you won't always need all of them. Like, if you've just got a Poliwag and a Poliwhirl, but you don't have a Poliwrath, it's only a basic and a stage one, then at that stage, you're still doing 160 for a single energy attachment. That's not bad. You know, put a choice belt on, you're getting a one-hit kill on a Crobat. You're already basically getting a one-hit kill on any single prize Pokemon. So, this could work. Now, in terms of the other Pokemon, we do have a Poliwrath here. The Poliwrath isn't particularly exciting. Single water energy, 60 damage, plus confusion. I will say that the Poliwrath gets props for this. Because what we've got is a fighting Pokemon that attacks for water energy. So, you're still only using water energy in your deck. But now you can hit a fighting weakness, which is clearly a good thing here. And confusion's not too bad. The problem is, you're talking about 60 damage, and it's on a stage 2. And it's only one energy, and you're going to be trying to get the stage 2 out anyway, but it's still not very much. I do actually quite like Splash Loop. Water, double colorless, 160, put two energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Because again, you're hitting that different weakness, which can be absolutely crucial. And I really like the idea of, you know, just kind of stashing a water energy on there. And then at some point in the future, you whack your twin energy on and go and hit for weakness. I think if you're not hitting for weakness, free energy 160 is rubbish. But I think if you are hitting for weakness, this could actually be a really nice Pokemon to have a little bit of a play around with. I could be tempted. I've also got to give a little bit of love to Poliwag here, because one water energy, 10 damage, flip a coin. If heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. And I'm not going to sit here and argue that this is the kind of thing that's going to win you a million games. It's, it's definitely not. I can't say definitely, can I? I suppose it could. It is almost certainly not. But what I am saying is... You've got to play a basic Pokemon. And if you go second, your opponent's able to attack on their next turn. But, and you're able to attack now, but you're not able to evolve. So put an energy on flip. Might work. You never know, ladies and gentlemen. You never know. It's one of those things I'm pretty interested in, honestly. I, I like the idea of this working. I don't think it's, it's a big game-changing thing, let me be clear. But as a handy bonus when you're playing the basic anyway, I actually really like this. Where do we come down as a whole? I mean, look, you're talking about a single prize Pokemon for a single energy attachment that can one hit KO basically anything in the game. That has got to be worth a play. Is it going to end up being consistent enough? Maybe not honestly. But do remember I showed you that arena card the other day, which is just Corinna for water decks, i.e. it lets you search for a water Pokemon and an item card and put them into your hand. So that is going to allow you to go and search for your Politoed and your rare candy. And that could actually make this way more consistent. Maybe in a reader engine in the same way Corinna worked for fighting decks in the past, maybe that could work. Maybe that could be the thing that makes it work. 
or maybe you just need stage twos and special energy and it never ends up being good enough. I, as you probably know by now, I like to tend towards, well, positivity. I'm a pretty positive dude. That's what I think. I want to know what you think. Oh, Wossy score. I'm going to between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. I really think there's a lot of potential here. And I might be wrong, but I really want to be right on this one. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.